Hi, it's me. Um, I decided I'd make a short video of me reading uh, an excerpt from one of my favorite chapters from this book, Art of Racing in the Ring, which is fantastic. Go read it. So here, this is my favorite part. <clears throat> And uh, yeah, it is completely out of context, so what do you do? This, the scientific theorists go on and on about how monkeys are the closest evolutionary relative of people. But that's speculation. Based on what? Based on the fact that certain ancient craniums have been found to be similar to modern man's? What does that prove? Based on the fact that some primates work on, walk on two feet? Being bipedal is not even an advantage. Look at the human foot full of bent toes and calcium deposits and pus draining from ingrown claws that aren't even hard enough to scratch at the earth. And yet how I learn for the movement my soul inhabits, the moment my soul inhabits one of these poorly designed bipedal bodies, and I, too, assume the health concerns of men. So what if man's body evolved from monkeys? Whether he came from monkeys or fish is unimportant. The important idea is when the body became human enough, the first human soul slipped into it. I'll give you a theory. Man's closest relative is not the chimpanzee, as the TV people believe, but is in fact the dog. Witness my logic. Case in point number one, the Ducla. It is my opinion that the so-called Ducla, which is often snipped off of a dog's foreleg at an early age, is actually evidence of pre-emergent thumb. Further, I believe that men have systematically bred the thumb out of certain lines of dogs through an elaborate process called selective breeding, simply in order to prevent dogs from evolving into dexterous and therefore dangerous mammals. I also believe that man's, dis man's continued domesticus domesticus bleh, domestica I can usually say this word. Domestic domestication there we go domestication if you can use that silly euphemism of dogs is motivated by fear fear that dogs left to evolve on their own would in fact develop thumbs and smaller tongues and therefore would be superior to men who are slow and cumbersome standing erect as they do this is why dogs must live under the constant supervision of people and are immediately put to death when found living on their own from what Denny has told me about the government and its inner workings it is my belief that the despicable plan, this despicable plan, was hatched in the back room of none other than the White House, probably by an evil advisor to the president of questionable morale and intellectual fortitude, and probably the correct assessment, unfortunately, made from a position of paranoia rather than spiritual insight, that all dogs are progressively inclined regar regarding social issues. Case in point two, the werewolf. The full moon rises, the fog clings to the lowest branches of the spruce tree. The man steps out of the darkest corner of the forest and finds himself transformed into a monkey. I think not. Good stuff. Seriously, go check it out if you haven't yet. I really recommend it.